Hello, my name is Rachel Rosewater, and this is my science experiment for Ms. Peterson's sixth period physics lab methods class. So, Ms. Peterson did a whole bunch of different experiments on Friday, and she told everyone in the class we'd pick an experiment, emulate it, and then describe the science behind it. So, I chose the milk and food coloring experiment. So, basically, what Ms. Peterson did was she had a mysterious substance on a Q tip and she placed in the middle of the milk, causing food coloring in the middle of the milk to spread out. So my question, why did that happen? And what chemicals in the substance cause the chemicals in the milk for the food coloring to spread out? So knowing from prior experience, I had, I knew the answer was soap. And so I tried a whole bunch of different soaps and we're gonna see which one works. The six different soaps we have are hand soap, dish soap, dishwasher soap, body soap, laundry detergent soap, and bar soap. And in each bowl, I have a half cup of Smith Brothers Farms low fat milk and about four drops of food coloring in each one. One red, one green, one yellow, and one blue. Now I will test each one to see which one works best. First up, we will try the hand soap. Okay, that one's gonna work well. Now we'll try dish soap. Next up, dishwasher soap. Then we have body soap. We have laundry detergent soap. And last but not least, we have bar soap. Okay. So as you can see, all of the different soaps work in some type of way. So obviously, what's the science behind it? This is an alchemy, this isn't magic. So basically what happened is the milk is made majorly of water molecules, but it also has fat and protein molecules, which are bigger than the water molecules. And there are positive, negative, or no charge at all on all of the molecules, including soap molecules. And so when I dip the, co the cotton swab into the milk, it causes the food coloring to spread out because the negative end of the soap molecule and the positive end of the milk molecules line up and causes the food coloring to spread out all over the bowl, getting this really cool sort of rainbow tie-dye effect. Well, I guess that's it. Thank you for joining me in this experiment.